Hi, my name is Rene Cortez. I'm a celebrity hairstylist. We're here today to talk about bridal hair. London extensions have been a lifesaver for me, working on editorials, working on red carpets, working in the salon. A lot of my coworkers always ask me, what extension line am I using? And I always tell them that I use London extensions. They're easy, they're versatile, the quality of the hair is spectacular. I'm in love with them, and I'm in love with their new bridal line, which has these little crystals on there that allows the hair to look elegant and you can recreate any look you want. We're gonna be recreating a look that I used on an editorial. So to get started, we're gonna be sexing the hair. We're gonna start at the bottom, making sure that you can expose the occipital bone and get your teasing comb. Grab a nice inch section. And just Tease it at the root. So I'm going to be using the pre-curled Spolversi Crystal London Extensions to be put into the hair. Look how beautiful these curls look. Place them in the center. Snap it. Now you move on to the next section. Same thing, grab about an inch section to tease. Tease at the root. This will be the second weft that we'll be adding. Put it in the center and snap it in. What I like about the extensions is how the color blends in. It also allows for the shine just to look very natural. So go ahead and move on to the next section. This piece will be going on the crown. Take about an inch section, tease at the root. So in the back, I'm just gonna be putting two individual pieces just to create some dimension. Go ahead and let this hair down and we're gonna be moving to the side. I usually like to section right at the corner of the eyebrow. Go ahead and section it, lift it up. I typically don't like to go too close to here. I usually put a finger here to give me a guide as to where the extension piece should be clipped in. Section the hair, slightly tease, clip them in. Now you can just brush it off to smooth out the top. Some girls like some height on the crown. At this point, you can take that section piece and tease it at the crown. If they want for it to be flat and smooth, you can go ahead and do that. So what we've done, we combined three wefts that have the Swavorsi crystals for the ex London extensions, and we're gonna be placing in the back. Section some hair from the crown. Make sure that none of the hair that was previously teased falls at the bottom, because we're gonna have to tease around the sides. And all I'm doing here is I'm just sectioning about a one inch section on the sides. That's where I'll be pinning in the hair piece. So at this point, secure this hair weft with two bobby pins. Bring that piece down, bring the other piece over. I'm just using two bobby pins. At this point, to cover the sides, I will go ahead and tease. After you tease, just go ahead and brush it out a little bit just to smooth out the hair. Add a bobby pin, secure it to the side. On the other side, same thing. Using London extensions was really easy to do. It took me less than 10 minutes to put the hair in, style it, and give you a look. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more texture to the bottom of the hair. I like to use this kind of comb. It allows for the hair to get more volume. As I'm teasing the bottom hair, you can see the crystals, how they come to life, and how easy and blendable it looks. It makes it look really elegant. It gives a little story to the hair. I can rely on London Extensions to give me that reassurance that the look that the client likes can come to life. So for the final look, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray the hair, smooth it out, and if you like to add more volume, it's totally up to you. This is just my approach to it. What I love about these extensions is that I can tease the hair and I can smooth them out without compromising or being in fear of losing the crystals. So for the final look, as you can see, all I used was seven pre-curled London extensions that had the Swarovski crystals, smoothed out the hair, and this is the final look.